interesting day too. Of course, we started here in Whiteman Park for the first passes of the morning, then headed to Calamon. It's been a fantastic day weather-wise. Glorious for the spectators, and they've come out in numbers, I've got to say. We're now back at Whiteman Park, going in the reverse direction. Some interesting things up and down the leaderboard. Our leader in the outright positions for modern, Peter Major's done a fabulous job. He's got a head gas issue, which he's dealing with. We're hearing reports they may pull it into Park Ferme tonight. If that's the case, we'll get a penalty, and we may have a new effective target leader, which would see young Brett Wilkinson in the lead. Matt O'Neill, they're having a ding-dong battle in his Subaru as well. So modern, still lots to play for, and we'll be interested to speak to them at service very shortly. Classic-wise, they started dead even. Of course, we have Paul Maltoni and uh, Simon Gunson in his front, and they were even this morning. Now, Gunson had an issue earlier on today and is now charging back but got a good lead, Paul Maltoni, at the moment. So how they manage that tomorrow as well will be interesting to talk to them about. Something we hadn't spoken about so far is, of course, the challenge section. Simon Gunson's wife, Sharon, she's leading the modern, doing a fantastic job in her Evo. And in our challenge sections for the classics, we've got Martin Ayer in his triumph doing a fabulous job there. So lots of stories up and down the field. We'll look forward to speaking to them after their run through here at Whiteman Park in the service for the end of day two. You were just having the conversation that we all want to know. What's the plan? Do we even have one at the moment? No, we're still working that one out. <laughs> um, yeah, the million dollar questions. We take it out and service it tonight and do the head or head gasket or do we uh, run the gauntlet? It's uh, it, it's going all right. Like it, the longer stages, it doesn't like it. It blows cooling out and it gets hot. So this stuff's not too bad. I just, just doing what I can in the car just to be a little bit smooth on the throttle and not give it lots of boost and blow water out of it. If I told you, but obviously Pete Major's looking at taking that car apart from you could be our effective uh, you know, rally leader overnight. Yeah, unfortunately Pete's having some uh, heating issues with the car, it's getting hot. So um, yeah, we, I think we pulled in a little bit on him in Whiteman Park. So 21 seconds a gap, if he pulls it out, it will uh, be a nine second lead. But hey, you know, who's counting the numbers? Let's, uh, we've still got two more days to go. What's going on with your car at the moment? How's it all travelling? Oh, you won't believe this, will you? It's an alternator again. Yeah. No, we, we had problems at Whiteman 1 this morning uh, where a pin dropped out of the accelerator cable so we lost two minutes there, well nearly three minutes and this is just the alternator stopped charging again so we're back to where we were last year. <laughs> it's like deja vu isn't it, it's unbelievable. It so um, they caught us in that stage, or I don't know if they actually might have gone, they might have sped through a speed zone, I don't know, they really caught us more than you would really uh, would think was possible. But nonetheless, um, we didn't do a good stage that stage, um, we came into the lunch break and we tightened all the suspension up because she was very floaty at the high speeds. And the next one out, we nailed it. Yeah. We absolutely nailed it. Um, eight minutes and four seconds yeah. for the Calamunda stage. That was the fastest time. I think it was six fastest outright, yeah. even with the modern cars. You're leading the challenge section in classics, which is awesome, mate. You've done a fabulous job today. Yeah, it's a miracle. Yeah, I took a spin out in the bush there, hit some sand and a few little trees, and uh, I didn't know I was in the lead. That was excellent. End of day two and Sharon Guns is doing a fabulous job again in Challenge for Modern. You're leading it. Showing the boys how to do it once again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you look all crazy. the team, you know, huge team, people, people giving you a hard time. Really, driving is the easiest job in this team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, keeping these bloody like under control is the hard bit, I tell you. So, yeah, look, we've had two really, really good days. Today was a really good day. So, um, yeah, we, I think we finished about 54, 58 seconds ahead. Um, so that takes us comfortably into tomorrow, you know, we can just drive the lines nicely, keep it on the black stuff and hopefully we'll bring it home again. So, um, yeah, it's a good day.